Hello there, I am Giant Quill with more Pokemon Diamond Redux. In the last part, we got here to Full Murmur Town and um, we beat the Galactic Grin from the Valley when works with Cardup Weasel, who's one of our official team party members. And now we, um, he locked the Galactic Grunt locked us out of the um, Valley when works building, so we have to come back here and we're gonna have to take on these um, Galactic Grunts, I presume, I guess. Grunt 1 says, Enough arguing, hand over that sweet honey. Don't do as we say, Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Oh, they're all shocked, double shocked. Hey, this is a kid. This kid is a witness. What do we do? Well, we don't. We need. We don't need the brat. Need the brat to running off to get help. The situation is simple. We assure. We ensure the brat stays quiet. Okay, we're gonna have to face him then in a Pokemon battle. Okay, let's go Jetta. <laughs> um, I think Jetta can take on this level 9 Wimple. Let's try. Trinksha, okay. Let's see how much Quick Attack does then. Because Quick Attack always goes first then, even if my speed is lowered. Even though Jetta's speed stat is lowered a bit, you know? Did a little less than water gun. I'm gonna just use a quick attack again because I cause Jetta goes first then, you know. So that's good. Level seven beating up on level nine. Let's get his tackle finally, okay. Let me switch back to water gun then. Still faster than it. <laughs> One more water gun should do it. Let's see if this will do it. Hopefully it does it. There we go. And with that, Jedi Grid level 8. Nice. Sukun. Um, I'll switch. I'll stay in because Sukun only knows Harden. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure the Sukun only knows Harden, so it's an easy way to um, take it out, I guess. After this battle, I'll start speeding up the Galactic Grunts battles too. So um, yeah. So the next, there's the back-to-back -back battles in this situation, so the next battle just speed up with the Galactic Grunt music and everything. So yeah, if you heard any uh, noise, it was just me scratching my head. Because my head was itchy, I guess, I don't know. So yeah. So there goes the Silcoon. Nice. Almost to level 9, wow. This is why I'm gonna... B attack as ah do me dollars dog. Thanks for the 360 poke dollars, man. This is so lame. They're going to dock my pay. <laughs> I'm up next. Hee hee hee. Battling you right after the court weekend. You giving me the edge. Well, not really. I have uh, two other Pokemon that I could just beat you with, and then two other Pokemon for emergency as well to just stall or something. Yeah. This brat's tough, like really, really tough. Um, tougher than I could can put into words. I know, and I know a lot of words. We're done for here. We're, we're done for here. Let's get back to the value one works. Okay. 
Oh, what's this thing? They must have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must be from the Valley One Works. It's no. It's of no use to me. You may have. You might as. You may as well have it. And we got the works key. Awesome. Thank you. You sure you saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. Those you saw how they were dressed. What were they saying? Didn't make what what they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you. Will you take this as my thanks? And we get the honey, which we can slather on um honey trees, which can attract Pokemon like Munchlax, Heracross, Wimple, uh, Butterfree. I think no, not Butterfree, but yeah, stuff like that. And Combi especially. Uh, if you slather the honey on a sweet smelling tree, it might attract Pokemon. So yeah, if we can go over here, um, here's the, here's the one of the honey trees they were talking about. Yeah, I don't want to slot it with honey on that tree, at least, um, maybe later on a different tree, of course. Let's go in the house. I think we might get a TM if we talk to someone in the house. I forget, though, if we actually do. I put honey on the tree, check it back later. If you put honey on a tree, check back later to see if it's wrestling. I misread miss, miss that word. If it is, it's quite often a rare Pokemon. It gets my hopes up if I see that happening. The flowers that grow in the fields here are special. Did you, do you know, do you, do you see how they're more vivid than flowers elsewhere in Sinnoh? You can thank Pokemon for that. Thanks, Pokemon. <laughs> so let's head back to the Valley of One Works. I don't think I need to heal up really. Um, I'll be doing the switchover trick with um, the grunts in the Valley of One Works just uh, so Jada can get more experience and stuff. So yeah, there's the little girl we saw in the last part. We're gonna rescue her father now. Let's do it. Here's another honey tree, by the way. Okay, it's locked from the inside. Would you like to use wiki? Yes. Kaklunk, the door from the island looks opened. Awesome. Wait, what? No way, you had the you have the key? Looking locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this after all. Yes you are. This is no time for self pity. I got to alert the commander. So yeah, let's take on some old grunts. I think this one you can avoid, like so. If you just do the if you wait. Yeah, like that. You can afford it like that, but I'm gonna do it for experience. Let's do this. I take a challenge you guard to grunt. I ain't fooling around, kid. This is how a professional does it. As you saw right there, uh... Um, you know, Inferno got poison, so every time outside a battle, I walk up here like four or five steps, it does one HP, um, to, cause the poison. So I wanna, if I can get to the medicine pocket correctly, I'm gonna use an antidote on Inferno, there we go. Now, this next current battle right here is totally optional if you just do like that, but I wanna actually, um, you know, battle them for experience, I guess. Collecting electricity from the Valley of One Works, that is our mission. As you see, Inferno go to level 17 there. I'm gonna switch Inferno to the front, actually. So let me just do that. And oh uh, look, um, this must be the commander right here with the red hair. All shocked again, or shocked? I'm one of the Team Galactic 3's. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one, but people have shown little understanding about what we do. We don't, you don't, you don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we Team Galactic will leave. Sounds good to me, Team Galactic Mars. It's been a while, but we must take you down, I guess. Yeah, Team Galactic Commander Mars, yeah. 
Zubat, okay, um, this one's, I think this Zubat's like 14, yeah, okay, well, 14, okay. Let's take on the Zubat. Choose Ember. Hopefully this does about half, okay, never mind, it does a third. Of course, you can just bite on us, okay. It's not very effective though, hee hee hee. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? Destroying them? Making them faint? Because you're a bad guy in this game? You're a bad girl, I guess? <laughs> yeah, let's see his bite again. Yeah. And one more Ember should faint the Zubat. Now, if you didn't start with Chimchar, um, this next Pokemon will be pretty tough, honestly. It's a pearl ugly, it's the evolved form of Glammeow. So, um, it's really tanky, and um, I have Mach Punch, which is really nice because it's super effective, so I'm gonna use that. But if you don't have a fighting type Pokemon, you know, with a fighting type move or anything like that, then this pearl ugly can be a real pain. So just try to beat it awkwardly, jeez. Hopefully one more Mach Punch should faint this, but I don't know, it could leave it in the red health, of course. I knew it. Of course I knew it. Oh, and she has a Citrus Berry, I think, too. On her best Pokemon. Yeah, oh, it's an Orange Berry, okay. Let's use Faint Attack on us, which won't be very effective, but let's still hope that it won't faint Inferno. Yes, it won't faint Inferno. So I'm going to finish off with one more Mach Punch. There we go, it hits, awesome. And then that way the Pearl Ugly goes down. And Inferno gets a lot of experience. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. So that's cool. Refuted Commander Mars. This can't be, I lost you, you, I'm, I forget, you behind him, the dust of your dialogue. Thanks for the 1,280 Poké Dollars. Oops, I messed that one up. <laughs> That's alright though, we quite, I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Interesting, oh, this must be the father of the girl. Um, of the little girl. Team Galactic, they were saying they had to gather Pokemon energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you. I can't tell you how grateful I am for saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Papa. Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. I like that line a lot for some reason. Oh, sorry, huh? They made me working nonstop. Thank you, trainer. You made them, those bad people go away. I, th I, can think, th I, th I think the balloon Pokemon will, will come visiting again. So the Bloom Pokemon is a Drift Bloom. I think it uh, only appears on Fridays, or like from the hours of like 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. But you can obviously change your DS clock on your DS to um, change it to Friday if you want. I won't be using that Pokemon on, our on my team. I might show a little video showing it, but um, I might not. Uh, I'll, hopefully I'll remember to do that if I do decide to do it, you know? But after that, we can just go back to the Pokemon Center. Oh, and by the way, um, the next route is finally open. The Galactic Runs won't be there anymore, so that's good. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center and heal up real quick. Okay, so I wanna switch up my Pokemon too. Yeah, okay, um, Inferno is in the most uh, highest level now. So yeah. Jetta is still level 9, but Jetta will catch up, she will catch up in the levels eventually. And that's all good. So here we are on Route... This is Route what? I forget to read the number. I forgot to read the number. For more town route 205. Okay, cool. So yeah, we can actually access this route now. But I'm gonna cut the part right here and end it. Um, so yeah, this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Pro Diamond <laughs> Redux Walk the Guide. And the next part will take on Route 205 and hopefully get to the Shrine of Forest. So this has been Giant Go again. I wear that thing which again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redux Walk the Guide.